So Titania Prime's signature melee weapon is possibly the best single sword in the game right now. That's it. Thanks for watching. The Pangolin Prime is also nothing compared to the normal Pangolin. Don't get the two of them mixed up or don't compare the two of them. They're like chalk and cheese. It didn't just get a little bit of gold trim added to it to make it look pretty. It's a huge buff in every aspect. But what about other single swords like the Dakra Prime, the Prisma or even the Prime Scanner? How does the Pangolin go up against all of those, the weapons of choice when it comes to picking single swords? Now the Dakra and the Prisma Scanner both have a higher base crit chance but less status and less base damage which is the big one. So since they all run pretty much the same build which scales their crit into red crit territory and their status above 100%. For me, the Pangolin is a step above both of them. The base damage increase and of course the huge amount of slash damage it deals is incredibly nice. With the exception that it's got a slightly slower attack speed than the other single swords I mentioned. It also looks pretty cool, although at times the graphical effects on it make it look like it's made out of Play-Doh for whatever reason. Something about the rendering that just messes up on my screen. Now don't get me wrong, the Dakra and the Scanners are incredibly powerful top tier weapons in the game right now that will cut through absolutely anything that you put in front of them. Anything. Grenier, Corpus, Infested, Sentient, Two Month Old Cheese. But again, the Pangolin just hits that little bit harder. Literally. It deals almost 250 base damage with nearly 200 of that being slash damage being bleeds. And if you add Viral into the effect on top of all of that to boost your base damage and of course boost the bleeds that you're going to be dealing, everything is dead. 30% status chance, 26% crit chance and a 2.2 times crit multiplier while also having a neutral riven disposition for now i believe the riven disposition changes for melee weapons will be coming when scarlet spear gets added onto console so the horrors that are going to happen when that happens is going to be crazy reddit will be on fire so will the forums but if you look at the pangolin prime's base stats and then you add on the go-to build in the community that's used on almost every hybrid crit or status weapon right now uh, you will basically mindlessly cut through everything which might not be a good thing because you will then tend to maybe zone out and start daydreaming about random stuff while not really paying attention that's kind of how easy it is these are the relics you need to get your hands on the Pangolin Prime, the Neo P1, the Axie G4 and the Miso R3. So get farming. It is a mastery rank 14 weapon, that's as high as it gets right now when it comes to melee weapons. The only other ones we have are the Gram Prime, Nincondi Prime and the Venka Prime. They are all mastery rank 14 as well. So the power level definitely fits in line with the rank. Now in terms of modding it or building the Pangolin Prime, like I said, this is the go-to build and setup right now within the community when it comes to this hybrid build. Blood Rush, Weeping Wounds, Condition Overload mixed with Berserker for attack speed, Primed Reach to hit more enemies and scale that combo meter up faster, your elemental mods of choice whether you're going viral, corrosive, magnetic and so on. Pop in some crit damage but if you don't run the power spike passive from Naramon which allows you to keep your combo meter from I guess ending in one go it will slowly decay instead then you could stick in drifting contact to keep the combo meter alive that little bit longer. You could also put in primed pressure point along with condition overload and these other mods if you wanted to but we don't really need it in game right now we don't have anything to put that kind of damage up against and you can also bring a helios sentinel and use the gladiator mods on the deconstructor weapon to boost your crit chance up into red crit territory now that's pretty much it out of the prime access both weapons are really really good the current prime is really nice as well although the alt fire is taking me a little bit of time to get used to it titania has always been good but she may not be your kind of warframe but let me know what you think of the pangolin prime in the comment section below hit that like button or don't subscribe or don't and as always thanks very much for watching